you know, we've done a lot of uh, Rue stories and a lot of Dorothy stories. Let's come up with right. something that's going to showcase Betty this week. Exactly. So we were, we were very much aware of Absolutely. who got the A stories, who got the B stories, and when you needed to rotate it. And one time, and this is the first time I've ever told this story, one time we went for, I think, five or six or seven episodes, and we hadn't done a Rose story. And Mark Sockin was getting nervous. So he came in, and Jamie and I were writing the script, and he said, I'm concerned because we haven't had a, a, a good Rose A story for a while. So um, the episode you're writing, I want you, you know, and we said, well, it's Rue's the, it's the, Rue's got the A story, Betty's just got a small B story. Make the title about Rose. Okay, and I'm thinking, you think that's going to fool Betty White? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Mark Sockin didn't care, so that episode was, t t and that was the one where she did the boudoir pho photograph for Miles, yes. and it was entitled Rose Portrait of a Woman. So that was, uh, oh, that was our way to like, just get, get <laughs> under really the radar subtle. for one more week and stuff. But the thing that I knew at the time that Mark I, I was probably afraid of, I had seen Betty. Betty always said the parts were equal. I remember an episode where I counted and I wrote it. It was the episode that, uh, that Rue did, was on the piano for. Um, and I remember Betty had 13 lines. That's all she had the entire episode. And she never complained. The truth is the gals were all so professional and the show had been going on and they all felt so good about their stuff. And believe, believe me when I tell you, in so many TV shows, you don't get that kind of professionalism, and it makes it so nice for the writers. And we we really got. We trained. should get into this. Yeah. Because really because I, I really think these women have mistreated you. These. <laughs> <laughs>